All of you watching this uh, already know who I am. Uh, my name is Graeme Campbell and I have been a councillor in South Lanarkshire representing the people of Avondale and Stonehouse since May 2007. For the last five years I've been using Facebook uh, to convey um, my messages and updates on the work that I've been doing in the council uh, but more importantly um, the vast majority of constituents that contact me uh, asking for support and help have been through Facebook private messaging and uh, therefore coming into the election here in 2017 uh, I wanted to try something a little bit different um, so I thought that using a video log would be one such way to convey what I'd like to do if re-elected on the 4th of May 2017. So this being my first video log, I'd like to present what I believe the priorities should be for South Lanarkshire Council and in specific Avondale coming into the next council in May 2017. I've entitled this first video log Why Stand Again for the simple reason it's the question I'm getting asked most often these days and that's after 10 years why do I want to be a councillor for another 5 years? The simple answer is I have still work to do and the following four priorities outline my priorities if re-elected on the 4th of May this year. So my first priority has been split into two, one for Straven and one for Stonehouse, the two largest towns in Avondale but both with very different challenges. With less than 100 council houses in Straven and a turnover of only five or six properties a year, the current waiting list for secure council accommodation in the town can be up to 20 years. With property prices in Straven at somewhere between 10 and 20% more expensive than Stonehouse or East Kilbride, if you're a young working family it is also extremely difficult to get on the housing ladder in the town. With all of the planning gain money from the new developments around Straven all going to East Kilbride right now, the challenges of low cost, affordable and rented accommodation in Straven is set to continue for decades to come unless something is done about it. To solve this problem, we first of all need to have Straven designated as a town with need for low cost, affordable and social housing. Therefore, for the last two years, I've been working with the team at South Lanarkshire Housing and the planning department to have Straven's designation changed as soon as possible. So if re-elected in May this year, my number one priority in Straven will be to have as many low cost, high quality, affordable and social rented accommodation built in the town over the next five years. So that's Straven, what about Stonehouse? The number one complaint I get from Stonehouse residents in my day-to-day -day role as a councillor is the lack of facilities. There is no gym, there is no swimming pool and outside play areas are few and far between. We do have to however be realistic because in these times of austerity your council simply doesn't have the money to build these facilities. In my opinion, we therefore have to look at the private sector as a way to find the funding to deliver what the town wants in the future. Land to the north of the town is already being designated in the next local plan for residential, light commercial and retail. And if re-elected in May 2017, I will fully support the expansion of Stonehouse, which in turn will provide the money to deliver all of the new facilities everyone wants. I even have a dream in Stonehouse to see a secondary school built, but this will require development to the scale that the town has never seen before. My next priority is education. Avondale has some of the best schools in Scotland. I therefore want Avondale schools to remain some of the best in Scotland. If re-elected in May this year, I will continue my work to prioritise the budgets and ensure that our schools get the money they need to continue to deliver the highest quality education for our young people across Avondale. For over 10 years now, we've seen record levels investment in our roads infrastructure across South Lanarkshire. Avondale has also received tens of millions of pounds of investment in road improvement programmes throughout the last 10 years of the two councils that I've been involved in. If re-elected in May, roads will continue to be one of my top priorities. I'm sure that everyone will agree with me that our roads are improving, but I'm sure that everyone will also agree with me that the roads investment programme will need to continue for years, if not decades to come. Avondale remains one of the safest places to live in Scotland, and I would like to see that continue. For 10 years now, I've worked with the community, the council and the police 
to ensure this happens. I've also been working with the farming community and the police to see rural crime across Avondale reduce at levels we've not seen before. And if re-elected in May 2017, I will continue this work. I will continue to ensure that Avondale remains one of the safest places to live and one of the best places to bring up a family. I understand that not everyone in Avondale lives in a connected world. Between now and May, I will therefore attempt to deliver two or three paper-based leaflets across our community. With only a small team to support me, this is not going to be easy and therefore I will continue to grow the use of digital media, not just for this campaign, but also my ongoing work as a councillor in Ward 5, Avondale and Stonehouse. On Thursday, the 4th of May 2017, you will have the opportunity to elect three councillors to represent Avondale in South Lanarkshire. I'd like to be one of those three councillors, and that means I need your support, and that translates into your vote. Councillors across Scotland are elected to a multi-ward using a proportional representation voting system. I will present more on the proportional representation voting system in a future vlog. But until then, thank you very much for watching this short presentation. And remember, if there's anything I can do for you as your councillor, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.